What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and iOS 12.1 Beta 1 was released today, so I'm going to be reviewing all of its new features. Let's get started. Okay, so before we actually get started, I just want to let you guys know that I that this will be my third upload for the day, so if you're new to the channel, this is not something I usually do. This is only because there's a lot of news coming out at the same time and I need to be on top of it. So I do apologize if this video is very late. But let's get on with iOS 12. This iOS 12.1 Beta 1 update brings us some new features. They originally took away these carrier settings back on another iOS beta before iOS 12 was released, but these new cellular services have been added again back into iOS 12.1, so that's a welcome change that I'd like to see. Also something I want to mention is in the developer notes of this beta, Apple did mention that in iOS 12.1 beta 1, they have added support for multi-carrier support. So this means for the new iPhone 10s and 10s Max, they have a dual SIM card tray. So theoretically, if you were to buy an iPhone XS or a XS Max, you could not use two SIM cards. You have to wait until this beta update comes out to the public. So when iOS 12.1 does officially drop for the public, that's when you will be able to activate both SIMs at the same time. One of the iOS 12.1 betas, people were expecting new emojis, and sadly that did not happen. So the new Unicode files have been updated, they just have not been released yet to iPhone users. So expect in an iOS 12 update in the near future to see new emojis, it's just not going to be in this update. Now another change in iOS 12.1 beta 1 is a new feature in read receipts. So if you are the person sending a message, if the other person receiving the message deletes that notification on the lock screen or notification panel, that will act as if the person read that message. So I'm going to be showing you an example right Right now on the screen so you can see. Alright, so I'm texting myself right now on my iPhone 10. This is the sender. On the iPhone 6s Plus running iOS 12 beta 1, this is the receiver. So you can see I swiped it away and the other user cannot see that I have read it. But until I clear this notification from the lock screen or the notification panel, that's when they will notice that I actually read the message. So you can see that I just apparently read it from the other user's device. I'm sorry my screen timed out. But I'm not really sure I appreciate this feature. I don't like this feature mainly because I tend to clear a lot of my no notifications. And if this situation were to happen to me, someone may think that I read their text when realistically I didn't. Now me personally, I've always turned off read receipts because it's no one's business whether or not I read a message. But next up on the features list for iOS 12.1 beta 1 is Apple brought back group FaceTime. So with group FaceTime, apparently users are reporting that this new FaceTime icon was grayed out in the past betas and now it's no longer grayed out in a group message. But if you do some further research, if you actually try to call someone, it does not work. So the button was added back and it looks as if it works, but it actually doesn't function as group FaceTime. So that's something that's kind of interesting. So it's kind of like half added back, half not. So I guess that's a sign that Apple's working on it. This other feature is in the emergency SOS category on your settings page. So what you want to do is if you are in the emergency SOS screen and you have auto call turned on, Apple added a feature where they now have a countdown sound. So this means every single second that your device is in this emergency state, it will make a noise until it dials 911, just in case the user is not aware. And one more feature I'd like to add that I noticed was I have not updated my carrier settings on this device and I now got this message that I've never seen before on iOS 12 until this update and it basically says to contact my my carrier if I continue to see this message after updating my carrier settings. So I've never seen that message before and that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.